Mount Etna, a giant of fire and ash, a mountain that has shaped the land, the history, and even the fears of the people living in its shadow. But today, scientists say Etna is doing something far more alarming than erupting. It's moving, sliding, slipping, inch by inch, toward the Mediterranean Sea. Most people think of volcanoes as explosive monsters, mountains that roar, erupt, and throw lava into the sky. But the real danger from Etna may be happening in silence, deep inside the earth, and along the hidden cracks that run beneath Sicily. This is the story of how one of the world's most active volcanoes is slowly falling into the sea, and why researchers believe this creeping movement could one day trigger one of the most devastating geological events in the Mediterranean. For decades, Sicilians have watched Etna erupt again and again. Lava flows, glowing fountains, ash clouds. This has always been part of life on the island. But everything changed when scientists installed high-precision sensors around the volcano. Devices that could detect even the smallest shift, even the tiniest movement. And what they saw shocked them. The entire southeastern flank of Etna, a massive block of rock weighing billions of tons, is sliding downhill, inching toward the sea. At first, they thought the movement came from magma rising beneath the mountain, pushing it outward. But deeper studies revealed a different truth. The mountain is collapsing under its own weight. Gravity is pulling it down and outward. Not upward pressure, but downward failure. A slow-motion landslide, on a scale almost unimaginable. Etna's flank isn't just drifting. It's sinking. Cracking. Creeping closer to the Mediterranean every year, it's as if the entire side of the volcano is trying to break free and plunge into the water below. You might ask, so what if it's moving? It's slow, right? Yes, but that's exactly why it's dangerous. Slow movements can become sudden disasters. Scientists compare Etna's behavior to other volcanic giants known for catastrophic flank collapses, like Hawaii's ancient megalandslides that sent entire mountains crashing into the Pacific or the terrifying collapse of Mount St. Helens in 1980 when a creeping bulge exploded into a deadly landslide. Etna's flank is even bigger, heavier, more unstable. If the southeastern block collapses all at once, the impact would be immediate and severe. Picture this. A chunk of earth larger than the entire city of Los Angeles breaks free, slides into the sea, and displaces millions of tons of water in seconds. The result? A tsunami. Not a small one. Not a local one. But a wave that could race across the Mediterranean basin at terrifying speeds, striking Sicily, Italy, Greece, Malta, Libya, Tunisia, and beyond. Scientists cannot predict whether the collapse would be partial or total. They cannot predict when it might happen, but the risk is real, and the movement is happening now. To understand why Etna is sliding, we must travel deep below the surface, into the mountain's roots. Etna sits on a complex boundary between the African and Eurasian tectonic plates. As Africa pushes northward, the crust beneath Sicily bends, cracks, and twists. Pressure builds. Faults shift. Magma rises. And while the volcano grows upward from erupting lava, its base becomes weaker, stretched, and fractured. Think of Etna like a massive tower built on soft, shifting ground. Over time, one side sinks, the other side leans, and gravity takes over. Not all at once, but inch a by inch. And every inch matters. When researchers sent underwater robots and sonar systems into the sea around Etna, they discovered something even more unsettling. The cracks and fractures on land do not stop at the coastline. They continue beneath the water, kilometers into the Mediterranean. The seafloor itself is being torn apart by the same forces moving the volcano. What this means is clear. The sliding flank is not just a surface phenomenon. It extends deep into the earth, into the ocean, and into the unstable crust that has supported Etna for hundreds of thousands of years. The collapse, if it comes, will not be a small chunk falling off the side of a mountain, 
it will be the failure of an entire structural block, a geological avalanche into the sea. What makes this threat so haunting is its silence. There are no dramatic explosions, no glowing lava, no shaking ground, just the slow shifting of rock, detectable only by scientific instruments, creeping a few centimeters at a time. These tiny movements are like the heartbeat of the mountain, and lately, the pulse has been irregular. In several years, the rate of sliding has increased, not dramatically, but measurably. Enough to make scientists ask whether the process is accelerating. Volcanoes don't give warnings like storms or hurricanes. They don't announce their intentions. They reveal them through subtle signals, ones that only the most sensitive equipment can detect. Etna is speaking, quietly, but unmistakably. For the people of Sicily, Etna is more than a volcano. It is a symbol of power, a source of rich soil and thriving vineyards, a landmark of culture, myth, and identity. But it is also a constant threat. Entire towns sit on its slopes. Homes, farms, roads, and lives depend on the mountain's stability. When researchers announced that Etna was sliding into the sea, many locals shrugged. They've lived with danger for generations. But scientists see something different. They see patterns. They see warnings from the geological past. And they know that slow-moving landslides can end in sudden, devastating collapses. The question is not if Etna's flank will continue moving. It already is. The question is whether that movement remains slow or whether one day something triggers a rapid failure. It could be magma pressure, a major eruption, a large earthquake, or simply time. Gravity never sleeps and the slope never recovers. Right now, monitoring stations all around the volcano are scanning, measuring, and mapping every millimeter of movement. Satellites track the mountain from space. Underwater instruments listen to the seafloor. The science is clear. Etna is unstable. But instability doesn't mean immediate doom. Many volcanoes move without collapsing catastrophically. Some stabilize. Some slow down. The challenge is that Etna is one of the largest and most active volcanoes on the planet. Its eruptions can reshape the landscape with little warning. And its sliding flank is already showing signs of internal fracturing. What researchers fear most is not a dramatic eruption, but a sudden structural failure, a collapse that would take only minutes, but change the Mediterranean forever. So here we are, a mountain of fire, born from deep within the earth, now slowly breaking apart and inching toward the sea. Mount Etna is not just erupting, not just glowing with lava, it is moving, sliding, shifting in a silent geologic dance that could, one day, unleash a disaster unlike anything modern Europe has ever seen.